right? Problem four, find f of negative one. Now, that means I go to the f function, which is right here, and it says do four times whatever they give you, take away two. So I'm going to do four times whatever they give me, because they gave me negative one, and then take away two. So now it's just follow the order of operations. Multiply first, I get negative four there, minus two, negative six. Number five, go to the G function and plug in negative four. Well, here's the G function. It says, take whatever they give you and square it. So if I do G of negative four, it says whatever they give you, which is negative four and square it. Now, is that negative four squared? I want to make sure we don't make that mistake because that doesn't say negative four squared. That says the opposite of four squared. Remember, if you're going to square a number, always put it in parentheses. Now that says negative four squared, which in our brains, we should know negative four times negative four is 16. But don't make that mistake if it's a big number, especially if you're putting things in a calculator. You have to put those uh, parentheses around it. Now, the next one is doing a composition of functions. It's saying, hey, I need you to figure out g of two first, and then once you get that answer, plug it into the f function. So let's figure out what g of two is first. g of two is, well, I'll go to the g function. It says, take what they give you, which is two, and square it. So this is four. So it's now saying, plug four into the f function. So now we're trying to find f of four. Well, let's do it right here, f of four. The f function says do four times whatever they give you, which is four, and take away two. And so now four times four is 16, take away two. Our final answer is 14 for number six. All right, we want to evaluate and figure out f of five first. So I go to my f function and figure out what f of five is. f function's right here. It says do four times whatever they give you, which is five and take away two. This will give us 20 minus two, that gives us 18. So now we plug, so this is 18 right here. So we're gonna go and it, plug 18 into the G function. Well, I plug 18 into the G function. I do 18 squared, 18 squared. Hmm, well, I know 16 times 16 is 256. Honestly, I, right now my brain is not doing 18 times 18. I'm embarrassed, but what can I do? Uh, now we go ahead and hold zero. Maybe this is a good refresher for you. Uh, so I get a four, a two, carry 324 is our answer for 18 squared. Number eight. Ooh, this time it doesn't say F of G of like three. It doesn't give us a number. So this time what we have to do is it just says they want you to take the g of x function and plug it into the f function. So basically we know g of x is x squared. So we're evaluating f of an x squared. So we go to the f function. Now remember, the f says to do four times whatever they give you, take away two. Well, what did they give us? They gave us an x squared and we then take away two. And so that's our final answer, four x squared, Take away two.